You're listening to RD2, a podcast with artists created and produced by Detlef Schlick, a visual artist and ritual designer, living and loving in West Cork, and best known for his essay about the cause and effect of shamanism, art and digital culture. Working in the field of performance, photography, painting, sound, installations, and film he will dive and discover with us and a weekly creative guest into the unknown and exciting deep ocean of the creative mind. This is Detlef Schlich and today we dive together into the unknown and uh, unexpected deep, deep ocean of the creative mind with um, another reflection of one of my earlier um, podcast talks. Um, it is Stuart Wild, and this was episode 15. Uh, I thought I make as well some automatic concepts that, that I would like to talk about my, my guest as a reflection for myself. Because um, it is, I think, from as an, an appreciation and as well to reflect on myself what and why I'm going to do my podcast. Because I think in times like this, where everything is so um, accelerated, um, where everything just speed up like this, it's good to to drive to go a little bit slower. So that's the reason why I put it now on Sundays mornings at ten o'clock. So you guys, you have um, maybe a couple of nice minutes where you where you find maybe maybe something interesting in to, in it as well. And uh, even dear listeners, uh, uh, if you're new, you can go back to the episode fifteen because um, they are all online on every podcast host. And uh, yeah, just dive into it. And you might find something interesting for you as well. So as well, what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to um, something new as well. I'll put some tips into my my podcast from, from listeners. Uh, actually, listener questions and... Uh, um, I I research a little bit in it and uh, um, I have some tips this time as well for for artists. I have this time uh, a couple of this tips uh, about um, if artists Instagram Instagram should use or not. Uh, however, first of all, I would like probably to to um, reflect a little bit about Stuart Wilde and then I would go into this, this other thing and. Um, yeah, the other thing is, I started as well to to run my shop, and here, uh, can you see that T-shirt? If you you can, haha, <laughs> you can see it if you hang on, that uh, you can see it if you look it up next week, or or if you if you go to the to the YouTube um, channel Attitude channel, and you will find it. There you see me. I mean, sorry that it's so so untidy in my background, but I'm working on um, physically actually. So after this podcast, I will start with my with my physically artwork. You see the green painting in the background, and it's it's about um, it's actually about an, an examination about um, um, the the uh, the neuroscience of uh, photosynthesis. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, I will post it as soon as it's finished. Uh, I will post it as well. So, and you can see it on on my Instagram channel, which is at datschlich.com. And you can find there as well all my artwork, my, my physical artwork, because I thought it's time to, to do some physical artwork again. Guys, I mentioned, I tell you, uh, sitting here and doing just this digital artwork 
podcasting, promoting the podcast just di digital, even in the night, and 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 I mean, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that everything on my own. So I'm on my my whole uh, production company. Let's say it like this. Um, it's sometimes not no, not boring, but exhausting, and you have to motivate you again and again and again and again. You know. So and I thought, okay, it's, now is the time to start again with physically work and I tell you guys you should do that as well sometimes if you feel a little bit depressed or um or down or low you know I mean color can can make such a difference in life you know that's quite great color and and music and um yeah if it comes to music one of my um lovely musicians here in West Cork, where we have a lot of creative musicians, but it is still different, difficult um, to get them in times like those because everyone is suffering somehow uh, from from a little bit from retirement. I mean, sure, pubs are closed and uh, the lockdown. Everyone knows. Uh, so I thought as well it was it would be somehow somehow good to to support music as well and uh, that's in this time it was episode 15 with Stuart Wilde and um, and this podcast was about his life and uh, his life in and around Dublin about his first instruments um, um, he was trained as a recording engineer Dublin and later in compositions with Austrian composer Carl Stoner. Um, uh, Stuart is a singer-songwriter, Irish singer-songwriter, and is based here in West Cork. And um, I mean, I think everyone who's living here in West Cork knows Stuart and his songs. Are, um, it is, uh, his voice is like a mix of Joe Cocker, Tom Waits, and uh, whatever. A lot of different. I can't, I can't, can't copy it actually. So it was a, it was a great talk and um we had as well um a live session with the song i'm messed it up a little bit because i was trying to 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 find the right balance in in the recording and there came some 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 noise out of it i hope uh, uh apologize i hope Stuart, you're not too too upset with me about that uh it was a great chat and I really would suggest that if you guys, um, you can find him here on my, I will put again all, all links of him into my description and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, yeah. Like what you hear so far? Make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. Now back to the show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was a little bit distracted from you from my new from my new machine. Uh, I hope everything will work now very well. I mean, I'm gonna uh, I put some 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 money into my new Zoom recorder, and uh, it is uh, I can now I can do my podcast with up to six people on the flight. But I have to push the buttons as well. So that's the reason why I was a little bit distracted. Uh, yeah, Stuart, Stuart, a great, a great musician. And uh, it was quite funny because we had a chat about about uh, the time when he was uh, 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 in the stage crew on, for for Florence and the Machine and and bands like Red Hot Chili Pepper. But, uh, uh, as I can remind, as I can, re as I remember, uh, it was actually that he was so tired that he was he used to sleep as red hot chili peppers were on the on the O2 stage or something like this in Dublin. I found that quite funny. <laughs> so yeah, it was great, and um, we are playing as well one or two songs of him. I mean. Stuart released his first album uh, in 2011 uh, called The Black Crow together with German violinist uh, Catherine uh, Döner. 
And uh, for a second album, Devil in My House, he teamed up with brother and drummer John Wilde and bass player Rick Appleby. So that is, uh, yeah, it's a great talk. It was before Christmas and when I remember we, we were trying as well to play a Christmas song together, which didn't work out. And uh, I think I, I didn't edit it and didn't put it into the podcast. So that was that. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks again, Stuart. It was great. Um, that's that. That was the reflection about episode 15. And uh, I would come now to, um, to Francesca from Canada, Ontario, Toronto. She um, asked me a question, should I use Instagram as an artist or does it put my work down? Uh, yeah, hi, Francesca. First of all, thank you very much uh, for your question. I had actually a, a talk guest from uh, Canada, Ontario, from, from, from Toronto. From Toronto. Well, Toronto, yes. Yes. Um, should you use Instagram as an artist or does it put your work down? I would say, I mean, I use Instagram, but just since a year. And uh, I can, it's a good question because I can understand that, that, that the artists don't feel to be a, a, a social media specialist and using that, that, that. I mean, it's very annoying. I know. And it took me a long time again. I mean, I used to be a web designer uh, 2000 up to 2008 and uh, then i i realized i'm not i'm not a businessman i'm i'm an artist so uh so i i came back just to my artwork and i did 10 years just my art i mean video film whatever you know so but i realized um especially now in in times like like this where we are in this glitch that um social media are the new platforms of an artist unfortunately you know i mean uh, not physically galleries anymore not really i mean yeah sometimes maybe but but it i i'm not sure if if this now uh, I, I, I would say uh, i use instagram nowadays as well for myself as a sketchbook and as a um presentation platform I now I'm not gonna say that. I mean, I have to be careful. Uh, it it is actually we are we are we live in in, in an age we we live in the twenty first century in a digital age where we are producer and consumer at the same moment. You know that means as an artist, you now you 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 have to promote yourself because. Um, it is now time. Now, now it's democratized to to promote yourself. If it helps or not, it's really it it depends on your strategies. You know, I mean, first of all, really, you have to set up your own strategy. How do you want to use Instagram for yourself? You know, I mean, uh, I would say currently Instagram is for 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 an artist the, the perfect platform. But you have to set up strategies. You have to first of all, which strategy you use, which arts do you gonna do? You know, so so I mean, uh, I for my, I mean, I have my podcast, so that means, so that means I gonna gonna um, advertise for my podcast. I used to advertise for my podcast a long time, but now I gonna do physically work again. So I promote my physically work too somehow, you know, and uh, which is great. I mean, it is, it is, uh, it um, encourages you, it motivates you as well to do some physical work, you know, so that's, I would say, uh, but on top of that, I mean, uh, above this, all this finding the right strategy. How are you gonna work on that? What, 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 what do you have? What, what do you have to find by yourself? I mean, we could talk hours about that. You know, if I, if I know which work do you 
you're gonna do you're gonna create so please write to 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 me info at attitude.com and uh um or if you follow me on on instagram on that schlich and sh and show me your 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 artwork on instagram so i might can i could give you a comment about that over there you know so yeah what is as well necessary is that that you if you start with instagram you have to um you have to know that that that, that hashtags are still the key you know so you really have to to find out which, which hashtags you use which um which audience do you want to reach you know with your hashtags so in order that 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 this audience will find you on instagram you know i mean uh but even about that we could we could talk for hours you know so i mean, I mean um social media is unfortunately so crucial this is so crucial nowadays i can tell you um you can look for for the ones who share and repost as well the, the people you know if you if you follow people that they, that they, they, they maybe follow you back but but you look like 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 i am now i have my i don't know five thousand or six thousand followers and i i am as well on quite high with my following and um promoting takes such a long time so i hope dear people who follow me on instagram so please don't be uh don't be disappointed if i'm not following back anymore because uh, i just don't find the time for that i mean i mean if people write me on instagram i will answer and if you write me an email on attitude i will answer as well you know but uh but f finding out followers and following back it's um I must say I I gonna do that sometimes if the artwork is great. But on top of that, I'm quite disappointed. I must say that uh, a lot of people they they follow just follow you and and then they unfollow you again. You know, so which is which is really uh, which for me is somehow if I if I question all this social medias. Um, it's a it's not nice and um. B, I mean, it's not honest. If I follow somebody, so I follow them, you know, and I'm not taking my following back. And I follow them because I like his work or her work or whatever, you know. And uh, and those people, they, they just they just still think they, they could, if they have 10,000 followers, they become an influencer, which is, I think this time they, they are gone, you know. I mean, it is more about networking. It is more about... Um, you, creating your artwork on Instagram and using it as a, as, a, as, a, as a gallery. Take your artwork offline, uh, show it online, and maybe on the later stage offline again, or, uh, uh, if you maybe create a shop or whatever. So I start now. Um, that slunge. Mm. Mm. I might... Uh, I might show you this here is uh, in my shop now as well. These are attitudes uh, collector's cups. I have here a limited collector's edition 2021 and I start with them. This is one from from Lou McMahon. Yeah. Uh, so I started with a shop as well, which is I mean, I'm not not gonna doing just cups. I'm gonna do t-shirts, and uh, I, I just starting. I'm just started, you know. And it's a lot of work. So, so, but first of all, you have to consider consider that 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 you just start building up your 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 your, your online um, presentation in general before you start maybe thinking about the shop or so because that takes years years as well. Especially if you're gonna do it alone, and if you don't know how to set up a shop, which is quite difficult as well. Um, then you have to find the right type of followers, you know, which is as well 
it's and so far crucial because because it doesn't make sense that if you have if or if you even buy followers uh, they are not organic you know which is a pain in the ass so you don't need them you know so yeah so find the right followers necessary as well um on top of that uh get engaged then with your followers this is paramount this is very paramount this 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 is just I mean, uh, take people like 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 they are they are, or friends like in real life, you know, and and uh, uh, show show some some interest, show love, yeah. And like I say, don't follow and 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 then unfollow, you know. I mean, uh, so if you if you just follow and 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 unfollow, it, this 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 creates a society just of of greed and 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 uh untrust and and frustration you know that's that's not good that's not good you know so there's a lot to consider a lot to consider but in general instagram dear francesca is still um a I would say the perfect platform for artists. I mean, uh, if, if we like it or not, you know, so it's social media, that's the 21st century. And uh, to be honest, um, as an artist, as a visual artist, getting help from institutions is very difficult because there are so many artists of this world, you know, and making an income as an artist is very difficult as well. And uh, there are not many artists who are really really gonna gonna can pay the rent from from their own artwork a hard thing but art is still saving the world i think and i hope yeah um on this note i would say Thank you very much, dear listeners, and um, we will hear us all next Sunday at 10 o'clock uh, when I publish my next podcast. Maybe with a podcast, talk talk maybe um, I'm going to have another reflection. My next reflection will be about the uh, uh, Etapa, the, the, the goat herder of Cape Clear. Um, so, but maybe I have next week already another podcast. I must see. I'm I'm so busy with my artwork currently that that uh, that um I don't know. I, I will see. I will see. Okay, so, so I won't I won't promise it. But you guys, you can find me on attitude.com. So www.attitude.com. There are the podcasts. The podcast is as well on on every podcast platform. You find it there. If you want to buy some stuff, some merch in, in, in my podcast shop, merch shop, you find it as well on attitude.com. If you just want to write me a letter, an email, write it. I will answer as well. I'm happy about that. If you have any suggestions uh, about talks, write me, please. If you are interested in a, in a, in a podcast talk, write me, please, as well. Um, you can watch this as well on on YouTube, on my Attitude channel. Um, Stuart's uh, links will be as well in my subscription, so you can find everything here. And uh, I wish you a lovely... Yeah, what's Sunday? And uh, I don't want to see you soon. Bye-bye. You have listened to Artitude, West Cork's first art, fashion and design podcast. RT2, never so close again. Ah! That was too close.